my name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to the Soul Adventures here in Hearthstone. We're going to be continuing with the Tombs of Terror. Uh, I think we'll change class and take out the first boss, finish out this chapter. We're a... Alright, so we're a paladin and a shaman at the same time here. Uh, Finley's Pith Helmet. Give all friendly minions plus two HP. Uh, health, sorry. Uh, shuffle this card into your deck. Okay, there's also Maxwell, Mighty Steed. Is that a reference to something I know? Uh, Rush Reborn has plus two attack for each other minion on the battlefield. Not me. Uh, there's also the True Silver Lance. Uh, Lifesteal, after you overload, gain plus two durability. That's incredible. Junior Scout, charge Wind Fury at the end of your turn. Deal four damage to a random enemy minion. Uh, well, I guess it is eight damage to face and then probably a removal of a minion. Sorry, I, every time I see charge as a keyword, I think about rush now. Because they've kind of deprecated charge. Like, it's it's not really used in new sets. Like, at least uh, much at all. Uh, Carl the Lost is Battlecry. Summon six plus one plus one silver hand recruits. And then give them uh, give all friendly minions Taunt and Divine Shield. Okay, so this can give Taunt and Divine Shield to other things instead. And Scales of Justice. Transform all minions into 1-1 one, one Murlocs. Fill your hand with a random Murlocs that cost zero. That's incredible as well. But we've only got this one. one Dang. Must never underestimate a Murloc armed with panache. Ooh, you, uh, you flashy, brazen, and brash. Uh, bubble blower, summon one health minions, 50 of them, in order to get a discover power. Uh, discover a shaman or paladin minion with battle cry, overload one. Uh, power up, overload mana crystals, give a minion divine shield and wind fury. Yeah. And yeah, we get a 2-1 rather than a 1-1. One, one. So they are clearly getting better. Mm, okay, let's have a look at the decks we're not going to be playing here. This is a Battlecry Overload deck. Yeah, it's a Battlecry Overload deck. This is a healing deck. With, I guess, a sub-theme of... Reborn? Yeah, something with Reborn. Uh, and then there's Murloc Crusade here, which is the one, one, uh, one health minions. Yeah. So this is like a flood the board deck. Neat. Should be all good. Eat those dastardly plague lords. Sorry about the slight muting there. I had to just move OBS off to the side. Also... Oh, I wish I had nails at the moment. I cut them recently. E. There we go. Cheers. Lieutenant Herring. Give your minions... Uh, sorry, your Murlocs rush. I realized that was a bit of a uh, stereotype of an, uh, like an inner city hipster. Uh, when my partner and I went down to the local bottle shop to pick out six varied craft beers to make them together into a six pack, which is a deal they have there. It's a good time, but also only on leaving did we realize, oh, oh no, we've become the hipsters. I should have realized that, you should go, frankly. Uh, I'll take Primal Fin, just for flooding. Sweet. That's, uh, that's a really good opening for us. Sword of Justice is a little expensive for this kind of deck. This plague chap we're hunting, he's a Murloc, yeah? Oh, he's many Murlocs. Try to negotiate with it, Finley. Tea time's over. Mm, not what I want to see there. But especially with the Flame Tom Totem, we should just be pushing face constantly. Mm -hmm. Although, 
overload and play one health minions. So we should make sure that we play every one health minion that's, you know, possible for us to do. Yeah, just play out the whole deck, folks. <clears throat> Hydro Soul of Murloc. Yep. Hydro Soul of the Murloc. We take hmm, Avenge. It's the best aggressive one though. Giving the Flame Tongue Totem a little bit extra HP seems like a really good thing. Uh, also, there are more Murlocs in my deck, so these, those could easily just come out by having some of themselves. Never mind, we already lost the buff. You straight up have to remove my board, right? Like, you can't not do that with those two minions on the left, but... The best control you can do. That's the best you can do. That's the best you can do, I guess. I'm just gonna push for lethal. It's not like we have that many overload cards in the deck by base. And one health minions, like I probably had one more. Let's have a look at the deck actually. No, I didn't. Basically it was just turtle uh title surge. Yeah, just Tidal Surge and Mermy, I think, was possibly still in my deck. So it was just Mermy. Your minions have plus one, plus one. Ooh, that's really good for this kind of a deck. Now to flesh out my strategy. Paladin by trade, shaman by nature. Mm. Micro Mummy is really, really good here. So is Redemption with Micro Mummy in particular. But I think we have to go with the uh, overloaded package over here, especially for a two mana four five. But things that resummon get extra value out of the the captured flag. They get it twice. All right, we'll take that away then. Are these foes getting stronger? Hmm, great. Elmova. Don't remember her hero power, but shouldn't matter. Should not matter too much. Sir Finley, the oh, you're the Flame Waker, aren't you? Mm, that could be a problem. Stand aside, being. It is time to save the world. I wonder how Reborn works with plus one plus ones being given to my minions. Does the resummon minion get plus one plus one? So do they have two HP instead of just the one that they would typically? Only one way to find out. Shaping this little one. Mm-hmm. Definitely got to start with the micro mummy. All right, removal spell. That's not going to do it. Let's hydrologist see if we get a better secret. I'll happily take the getaway coder though. Especially for the reborn minions, getting those back in hand as well as on the board is pretty good. Burn. Oh no! I'm never gonna summon one health minions. Okay, so we, we just give up on that optimization. It's just every overload card that I can cast, I need to cast. Yeah, flame ward. We have to get through flame ward in some way, right? Okay, so we do get two twos back, right? So they have the extra HP. Lovely. Do you have to get the one that rushes? It'll return to my hand and get resummoned. Ooh, value. That's what we call value.
Nice try. Sorry, but that one's just not going to work for you, pal. Uh, play that out, play that out, hero power, and just all oh, face all the time. GG, I'm a ball. It doesn't seem like the base deck can die to anything except for, like, it seems like you have to make awful misplays in order to actually lose before the seventh, at least. Interesting. Hydrologist and uh, Bristol Lynchian here are both pretty good. Actually, is Bristol Lynchian? No. Glowstone Technician is not that great. We don't really hold things in hand. That's a bad pack. It's the lowest cost one, though. Protectors, that's just taunt. And that's Divine Shield. Oof. I'll take this literally just to get the Cog Hammer. Both of those options there were pretty bad. Nothing good going on in there. Sacrophagazing? It's a new word. Sacrophy. It is time to save the Sacrophages. So in peering into the Hang on. Peering into the graves? This whole uh whole expansion has weird flavor to it. Who are we hitting today? Slightly inconsistent. Primal Fin's a really good start here. Especially after that. that one? Okay. Get a couple damage buffs. Love it. How early could we get a kill, theoretically? We're gonna need... Yeah. Early surprise Murlocs. If we're gonna have a kill like that. I'm pretty sure I trade this across. No. Enemies on low enough HP. Yeah, we're just going to try and rush them down. That's what this deck is built to do. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything with Overload. Or rather, I don't have anything with Overload that's castable. We're not going to get many unlocks with this character as a result of Captured Flag and kind of the way that we're uh, stressing our deck at the moment. I'm really looking for Bloodlust, uh, Lava Bursts, the Lightning Bolt, things like that. Aegis of Death. Your hero is immune. Each turn, lose one durability. Death Rattle. Deal 100 damage to your hero. No. Forest's Blade, Wind Fury, after your hero attacks and kills a minion, this gains plus two, plus one. Yeah, that's a really good way to close out the fight. And some of the three 1-1 one, one snakes with Rush, Poisonous, and Reborn, that's a board clear. But this is much more aggressive. Uh, it's overloaded. It's overloaded 100%. We're going in. Oh, please let me remove a bunch of garbage minions from my deck bars, uh, Bob. Because I got a hell of a lot of them. The pack that I had to pick two ago just offered me all of those minions and the ability to get rid of them. Please. It's not telling me that, I know. How I shall to Flame Wreath Faceless is really good here. So is the Flame Song. Okay, let's Kindle. Remove Rain of Toads is far too expensive for this deck. Tall Tales. Choose a friendly minion. It gains plus four, plus four, but costs two more for the run. It's also Friendly Smith. Discover a weapon from any class. Add it to your adventure deck with plus two, plus two. Add all enemy minions to your adventure deck. They cost one less. I don't do that here. You're all fired? I definitely don't do that here. We have the Flame Wraith and we also have the Unbound. Hmm. Oof. I think we might Tall Tales on the Unbound just so that it sticks to the board a little longer. It's just Sword of Justice, right? With 
plus two, plus two. That's like, it has enough durability. That just becomes a good weapon for hitting face. That is quite the tale. Do you believe it? It's gasling. Twizzle Fox? Hey. What's your hero power? Oh, Twizzle Flux. It's an L in this It's gotta be a Lepinome kind of thing. An agent of evil. I dare say this will get unpleasant. A talking murloc. <laughs> Were you a curse? Mm. Cog Hammer with the plus two plus two upgrade would have also been really good. We could actually possibly get the second treasure as another captured flag. And those kinds of builds just go absolutely nutty. Ooh, getting my Murlocs early. Love it. If only I could get good Murlocs. What is this? I constantly get the worst Murloc. Every time. Is it? It has to be seated to do that. I'm not that unlucky. There's no way. Alright. Am I gonna do it? So your hero power is Plagued Horde. Give a minion death rattle plus. Oh, okay, yeah. So you turn a minion effectively into a Lepino. Uh, ancestral spirit here, I guess. I'll even swing for the face. Not gonna have time to summon that many minions in this fight. Now defile again? No? Why did you defile before? I didn't know you had it in the deck. You could have killed me. Well, you could have given it a go. Could have given it your god's honest. Try and speed run through all of the first ones here. Excellent. Finds. Overloaded. Overloaded. So, I initially I read overloaded and I was like, oh, they're not minions, but they're spells that summon minions. Right? So we get two, two twos, sparks with rush, and we can also get uh, two, three, four spirit wolves with taunt. Definitely that. Tarkus we've dealt with before. There was actually one, I think, the sixth boss threatened us. In the previous run. Keep an eye on it. It actually might have been Tarkus. Gonna have to see the hero power to tell. Stand aside, being. It is time to save the world. The Neficent go down a dark path, but so do you. So I can't Voltaic Burst on the first turn because then I can't do anything on the second turn. I'm really hoping to get another one drop. <laughs> All right. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. So that actually smoothed out the entire curve because then next turn we play Hydrologist and the Secret. Who are we hitting today? Ooh. That suddenly becomes something I actually don't care about removing. Avenge. Competitive spirit is fine. Job's done. But I suspect the enemy is going to have the ability to remove our stuff. Plus, I'm just trying to get roll aggro. So we almost certainly lose the Mermy next turn. It's fine. Mermy Knight out there so I can start hero powering for value. No charges. Beautiful. 
No. I shouldn't have stopped worrying when the plagues of Murloc stopped going off. Should have known something would have done it to me. That's a good one to have gotten. Must admit. I was kind of hoping that because we're Shaman and Paladin, and Shaman and Paladin are the two classes that most Expect utilize uh, Murlocs within their own skill set. Like, there's the uh, there's one in uh, in Warlock that almost all of the class Murlocs are in those classes. So I was actually hoping that we were going to be able to find those in this run in particular, because going up against the Plague of Murlocs and having all of these Murlocs just randomly summoned, as well as a board full of Murloc buffs, would be absolutely ridiculous. I suspect that's why it's not on offer here, actually. Alchemist Stone, passive. After you play an odd cost card, reduce the cost of cards in your hand by one. We have a lot of odds. Crook and Flail, after you cast a spell, put a minion from your deck into the battlefield. Uh, we don't cast that. Well, we do cast some spells. I don't know about that one. After a friend minion dies, gain two armor. That's actually really, really powerful. But Alchemist Stone is new and also very likely quite powerful. When you're overloaded, your other minions have plus two attack. So that's kind of like a, a soft bloodlust for us. So we'll take it. Very, very, very synergistic with our win cons. Or rather provides a win con and is synergistic with our deck. Shirley's Temple. I'm trying to catch the things because I know that I missed previously that there was the Rude Sandstorm. The Rude Sandstorm for anyone who missed it as I did. Ooh, do the math. What's this? Remove all cards from the adventure, co uh, adventure deck that costs two or less. I see. That's definitely not what we do. Hiring replacement. Choose a friendly minion. Discover a minion to replace it in your adventure deck. No. I I'll, I might actually end up doing that after Brood. Round of Drinks here is actually not that bad. If Patches still had charge especially, it would be good. Add all enemy minions to your adventure deck. They gain plus one this uh, run. Secrets triggering twice is really... Yeah, Patches is the only one there that I don't really want, but it's still pretty good. Okay, it's Brood. The only one here I would want to replace is the Drakari Defender, but specifically giving plus one, plus one to a minion that has low attack but high health is really good. So I don't think we need to do that. Probably just good food then. Eat up. Take care. It was good seeing. We're constantly floating gold at the end of these. But honestly, I feel like it was the correct decision. Copy a card from your opponent's hand and add it to your hands. Okay, but it costs you two to get to that. Within the halls of origination is the power to create or destroy worlds. Sad. So the last time we experienced the League of Explorers was against Rafam and trying to prevent him from assembling the Staff of Origination. So it seems like they're just continuing that storyline here. Micro mommy. One drop, one drop, one drop! Mm. Totem Golem into Micro Mummy is good. That'll be good enough for us. You cannot escape us. I can hardly complain when I'm just getting, you know, six six worth of stats for free. But I really do want to complain. Yeah, it's it's seated. It has to be seated in some way. There's no way. No way this is just happening to me in a vacuum. Psst, 
Uh huh. Just sold Milok's go face. Yeah, we're, we're just 100% gonna go hunting here. The entire time. Uh, let's micro mommy and ancient, uh, sorry, ancestral spirit that. So if the enemy kills it, I get two of them back. One of them that will have reborn. The Brotherhood shall Again, don't care. Go for it. Go for your absolute life. Wonder if I should Voltaic first in the next turn. If I drew Vezina at that point, I was going to be really mad. Oh, actually, I would have just been able to trade one person off. Never mind, it wouldn't have been a problem. Store a card with Overload. Ancestral Knowledge, we just need to draw here. Hatches is good. We are everywhere. You're clearly trying to be, but it's not working. Oh, by the way, now we're overloaded and Vesna costs less. So trade you in, summon Vesna, and then just go face. Get stunted on. I knew that that was... I knew that that was going to be how we were going to close out the fight. I just didn't think it was going to happen that turn. Dead or alive. Again, the rest of these are just complete garbage for our current deck archetype. Sweet. So that's our uh, sixth down, so this is our seventh. I think it was a Vozu who actually gave us uh, some stress. You're the hunter, aren't you? I'm hunting something. Yep, that's a uh, confirmation for us. Not a bad opener. Especially if we get a one drop. One drop me. Oh! Reporting for duty. Job done. Ridiculous. We get to play everything next turn. Because Hydrologist gives us a secret, which costs one. Hydrologist. Defense Matrix. Oh, that triggers afterwards? Okay, I guess. I mean, that's that's ultimately better, but it's in this very specific circumstance worse. So next turn, I can Flame Wreath Faceless Vesna. All face, all face. I don't care about Harmaster Shaw. You can control the whole board. Do I, do I look bothered about it? Nice try. Minion death rattle will resummon this minion. I guess we just put that on the biggest one. Yep, I, I feel pretty confident with my treasure choice in the second passive treasure. confident about it now. Ooh, you gave me a mermy. Lovely. <laughs> Haven't even taken a hit. Hell yeah. Uh, okay, a bunch of surprise of Murlocs could have been bad for us there. Bloat bat is bad for us here, but it's fine. Good work. Still got lethal though. This is why we had to put it on the Flame Wreath Faceless. Yeah. Just important to make sure that I play the Overload if I have access to it at the time. So in this final fight, uh, ooh, I mean, I strongly suspect we kind of just kill really, really quickly.
Give your minions death rattle summon a friendly, sorry, a friendly, a uh, random legendary minion. Choose an enemy, fill your board with three, three locusts that attack it and it's twin spell. No, I'm going Canopic Charles. Okay, overloaded here definitely as well. All right, Vesh. You only got 47 left on you. Shouldn't be hard. It's unfortunate that uh, the, the boss has 47 left because if you deal 50 to a Plague Lord, you unlock one more piece of equipment for the starts of the runs. Touch of shame. We have enough low cost stuff in the deck now that I don't accept this hand, except for the Unbound Elemental, which is probably going to go nuts. It costs a lot, but I also have the ability to make it cost a lot less. One drop me. Trying to count. Job's done means the turn's over. Quite an opening. Oh, so the enemy is actually starting on the Mernado hero power rather than having to control the board against them. Hmm, lovely. I'm going to go with a Pith Helmet here. Control and go face. So the reason for that is because otherwise I wouldn't be able to play Feral Spirits next turn. Uh, never mind. I wouldn't be able to play the Flame Tongue Totem next turn. Oh, hang on. No, it's Patches. Totem Golem. Flame Tongue Totem. Then, there we go. And then next turn, Unbound Elemental, and we start casting all of the rest of our overloads. You got Mega Fin this early? All right. I was pretty sure there was only one of those in the deck because we only saw one of them get burned last time. This city is ours. Honestly, I really don't care to kill that. It's very big. I'd lose a lot of minions. Also, shuffle all minions into your deck. After a Murloc dies, reduce his cost by one. We would have activated Mernado. That probably should have been my primary point here, right? This is a real short episode. Should have tossed that one. Yeah, so they will. Elise is pretty good. And uh, fourth character name here is also probably going to succeed. So I wonder, does uh, do all of the characters unlock the... Because they, they share progress for killing Plague Lords. So do all of the characters unlock their piece of equipment that says defeat one Plague Lord in order to unlock it? I wonder. Okay. And how does it work to redo these? Doesn't seem to? Can I not replay the chapter? Across this desert has gone mad. I think it might be the source of the second plague. Well, that's the kind of thing that we're going to have to find out in the next episode. Until then, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Hearthstone, Tombs of Terror. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.